Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and today I want to talk about EVE Online's broken bounty system. Now, I get it. If you're getting into something like EVE Online the first time, or even if you've been playing it a while, there's probably been a point where you're like, bounty hunting, man, that'd be cool. I'd love to be a bounty hunter. I want to be like B Boba Fett. You know, I want to be flying around outer space, grabbing people, making money. Um, shooting people, wearing a jetpack. The jetpack thing you can't really do in EVE, but in theory, being a space bounty hunter is super cool, right? But then when you get to EVE Online and you see what the bounty system is, it's not cool. It's, it's just really lame. And there's good reasons why it's lame, right? It's specifically designed to be unexploitable, so it can't be exploited by players to make a profit, to uh, RMT, to do all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of things the bounty system is designed to do, but unfortunately what that means is it doesn't do anything. All it does is give some people a little extra money when they kill certain other people. So for instance, if you don't know how the system works, right, you might think how it works is a player places a bounty on someone, and then when someone goes and kills that player, the other player, the, the killing player, gets the bounty, right? But that's not how it works. So let me give you an example. Uh, my character, Chance Ravine, right? I've had at various points like a two billion isk bounty on me. And let's say I'm flying around in Stratios, it's worth 500 million isk. So when sees that I am, that oh, it's that wanted wingspan guy, I'm gonna kill him and get his bounty. They kill me, they blow up my uh, 500 million isk Stratios. They don't get the two billion isk bounty, okay? They don't get the 500 million isk that my ship is worth. They get a fraction of what my ship is worth. So they get, let's say, about 100 million isk. That comes out of my bounty. And then now my bounty is 1.9 uh, billion isk. Okay, so that's how it works. And it's like, oh, it's kind of it's kind of lame. It's kind of lame because uh, you, you, don't, you don't get the bounty even though someone specifically paid 2 billion is to want me dead. So that it's just it's unsatisfying and it means that there's also no there's no hunting involved. There's no like let me go find this target, let me look up the bounties and go find someone that's worth a lot and go get a big payday and now I'm rich. And again, to be fair, this, this exists for a reason, right? If anyone could just collect the bounty at a full price, I could just create another character or I could get someone in my corp to kill me, right? I could get an inexpensive ship, have a friend or myself kill me in the inexpensive ship, collect the two billion isk, and now we're rich. Uh, meanwhile, the guy who actually wanted me dead has essentially paid me, uh, which is, you know, which isn't how it works. Because in real life, right? In real life, if you place the bounty on someone, that person would have real consequences. They would go to jail, they would get killed, whatever happened, but in EVE, it doesn't work that way. Obviously, in real life, you wouldn't turn yourself in for your own bounty. So if we were gonna recreate the bounty system from scratch, how do we do it, right? This is something a lot of people have theory crafted about. You see a lot of posts on it, on the forums, on Reddit, on Twitter, whatever. Everyone's had their theories, and the problem with a lot of these theories is they're still very easily exploitable. Just like I said, they're exploitable, where one player could collude with himself or with friends to take advantage of it, or they allow wanton chaos where players are just killing each other left, right, and center, and high sec, whatever, that, that's, that can't be allowed either. You know, there's a war deck system, there's stuff, there's a reason Crime Watch exists. So let, let's just set some goals. The ideal bounty hunting goal, right, the system, the goal should be that um, players are generally safe in their lives, right? It's not like there's just tens of, it's just not like a thousand people put bounties on me and therefore I can't go anywhere. That wouldn't be fair because I could just get everyone in my corp to put bounties on some random poor person and now that person's life is ruined. But the goal should be that you can make, have a profession or a side profession being a bounty hunter that you could specifically accept bounties just like a real bounty hunter. You have to go find a specific person and destroy them, okay? You have to go kill that person and then you collect a big paycheck. It should be a rewarding system that requires you to do some work. So I've been thinking about this a long time. Um, been thinking about how this works in the real world, been thinking about how this works in other games. I've actually been thinking a lot about how the bounty, the contract system works in Assassin's Creed multiplayer because that's something that you know I was really involved in for a long time. And I think there are lessons that we can take from this. And I'd say the first lesson is randomization, okay? So let's say instead of someone puts a two billionist bounty on me and now if anyone kills me, they get a fraction of that bounty. Let's 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 take that totally off the table. Instead, say someone puts people put a bounty on me, 
And now I'm entered into a pool of available people who can be bounty hunted, right? Which is a little bit how it works now, right? So it's me and the other, let's say, 100,000 people in EVE who have bounties on them. Now, instead of it being open to anyone, not anyone could collect the bounties, you have to go to a Concord office, you have to go to somewhere, and, and, and here's the thing, everything I'm gonna say, it's just, it's placeholder. So if I say five people, or 10,000 isk, or whatever the number, just ignore the actual numbers, because that stuff could be tweaked for balance, all right? I don't, I, CCP has real numbers to balance this stuff, um, this stuff would have to get tweaked, all right? I, I don't know what the numbers are. So let's say you go to a Concord office and you have, I'm just gonna make up a number here, you have 10 bounty slots. You have 10 bounty slots, okay? You can hunt 10 players at any given time. And you say, I want 10 bounties. The system gives you 10 random players who have a bounty on them. So you might get Chance Ravine, you might get some some person high sec and wormhole space and low sec uh whatever and null sec whatever you're gonna get you might get the matani you might get fucking anyone now each of those bounties is gonna have the full bounty reward to it it's gonna show you something like where was this person last seen or they were last killed in this location like a kill mail right so you know the last time they died it was in you know j o j one six three four one eight or they were killed in Jita or wherever so you have some general sense of some place they've operated and then you're gonna have a timer for each one of those bounties again I don't know what's reasonable it could be a day two days a week a month whatever you're gonna get a timer and that timer is gonna start ticking down and that's how long you have to collect that bounty so immediately what this system does is it takes away the ability for anyone to kill anyone there's no you can't possibly exploit this because you're not gonna get to choose at all who you're getting for a bounty. People are like, oh, I'll roll alts. Like, do you understand how many people in EVE Online have bounties? You can roll alts all day. You can have 100 alts. The odds that you're gonna get yourself are pretty damn low. If 1% of people exploit this by making 10,000 alpha accounts, or you make it so that alphas cannot claim bounties that are past a certain amount of money, right? Like, alphas, you can only collect bounties up to you know, a value of 10 million isk, everyone else has an unlimited amount, whatever. The other way that you could uh, avoid some exploitation with this is that you don't have a set bounty pool, all right? So, whereas I have a two billion isk bounty on me, it's been created by tons of players that have added to it over time. Now, instead of someone killing me and collecting the whole two billion isk, maybe instead is they get, when you go into the system, you get one of those bounties. So one person placed a one billion isk bounty on me, another person placed a 50 million isk, Someone put 100 million isk, right? So you get one of those bounty contracts. You don't get all of them. And what that means is that they can't all be wiped out at once. Not all of the bounty pool can be wiped out at once. So it can't be exploited in that way. And you could even do it so that you could make it so that there's not an infinite number of people who could be hunting me. It's not completely RNG. So for instance, some player out there that has 100 separate bounties on them is gonna be 100 times more likely to show up in people's bounty queues. It could be done by the number of bounties, the total bounty value, so that one person, I can't fuck someone over by just putting a single 30 billion isk bounty on them or anything like that. Oh, 31 billion isk. So this randomized system, there's gonna be some downsides, right? People, I brought this up to a couple people before and they've said things like, well, what if you just get all all market trading alts or something or people who never undock you only get people who live in wormhole space fair enough i think you should be able to re-roll some of those people so every time you collect a bounty you get it you get a token to re-roll three bounties or something like that so it encourages you to actually go out there give all the system otherwise you have to wait for the timers to expire so you can't be exploited one thing i would definitely say for sure is the way that the bounty system works you're gonna have to change the minimum bounty. The minimum bounty, I don't, I don't even know what it is now, but it's really low. I don't know if it's 10,000 isk or 100,000 isk. It needs to be in the millions of isk minimum, or poss possibly way more. You know, do we buff this up? All bounties have to be 50 million isk or more, 100 million isk or more. It should feel good to put a bounty on someone, and it should be weighty, and it should feel, and it should feel good to collect it. No one's gonna go hunt down the Matani and Nelsec to collect a, a 3,000 isk bounty, it's not gonna happen. And, and even if it does, it's gonna feel really lame. Now, some people have said, whoa, 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 Chance, you're making a system where you go hunt down specific people. Won't they just collude? Won't they just say, um, 
oh, hey, like someone comes to kill me, they got me webbed and stuff, and then it's like, wait a second, how about, uh, in, how about you kill me, and then I'll, uh, instead of the two billion isk, I'll pay you, how about, how about you kill me, and uh, we'll split it, we'll split it. I get a billion, you get a billion, and uh, we split it, and I'll go get, go in a cheap ship, right? I'm really not concerned about that for two reasons. One is, there's like the, 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 the golden balls, <laughs> the golden balls game show, uh, what the, what the fuck was that called? I don't know, was it, was it just called golden ball? It's a push your luck, test your luck, I don't know what that was, test your might, uh, no, that way, that's Mortal Kombat. There was something, that game show, it's like, people could agree to that, someone could agree to that, to agree to collude with me, and then kill me anyway and keep the whole thing. I think that's totally fine, that's the backstabbing of Eve, I think that, unknown factor is there. I think that's totally great. The whole point of these changes though, because let's face it, people are like, oh well, even with this bounty system, really, if you got 10 people, maybe one of them you could bounty hunt. Maybe, maybe out of these 10 people, there's only one person you can hunt. That's fucking fine, because right now you can't bounty hunt anyone. You can't bounty hunt anyone. It's not a thing you can do. You can't go out and be a bounty hunter. So honestly, I would take one person a week that I could bounty hunt at, over, over, zero people that would be fucking awesome i'm sure there's lots of people would love to do that it would make it would make it so cool of a feeling when you put a bounty on someone to know that someone out there is going to get randomly assigned to go hunt this fucking person down for real they're going to get a real target they're going to get a real reward to kill them and that's ultimately what it comes down to and and again all everything could be tweaked ccp could change the amount of money it is they could change the, uh, the, the, the timer or how easily you could re-roll it. They could change the total number of people you can get assigned to at any given time, right? If it's, if it's, too, if you're, if it's too easy to hunt people, you, you make the timer shorter so, it's, so you have less of a window to hunt them and you make the number of bounties you get at any given time smaller. So, or, or if that encourages re-rolling too much to exploit it, you just make the timer longer or, or you make the, the likelihood that the number of people who can concurrently get you as a target at any time smaller, right? You can make it so that there's 15 people out there hunting any one person or three people or one person at any given time. You can make it so that if you get assigned as a target to someone, you can't get assigned as a target to someone else for like five days after that person's bounty has expired. So if they fail to catch you, the next person, you can't be assigned to someone else after a certain cooldown. So there's so many factors that can be put in here as total safety measures, but the main factor is to make it fun, to make it cool, to make you Boba Fett, and put you out there in Fett's Fett and catching people. Anyway, this is my idea. This is what's been rolling around my head for a while. I've been playing with this idea, talking about people for a while, for the last couple of months, talking on Reddit, talking to people in Corp. I really like this idea. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. I'm really interested to hear how you think you would break this system. Again, not about the specific numbers, but the system in general. How would you break it? How would you exploit it so that we could come up with an idea that's fixable, that, that CCP, when, when they feel inspired to fix the bounty system for real, I'd love to see something like this put into place as long as it works, as long as it's taken care of, as long as it's fun. It makes bounty hunting possible. Well, everyone, I'm Wingspan TT, fourth best commentator on YouTube. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the system, and I'll see you in space. Cheers. The other factor is if you break up the bounties so people don't get the whole bounty, there's. Incoming call.